Okay, miss. We don't know if she's gained or lost weight from last time because they didn't mark it on her file from when she had her blood work. So I gotta check the paper when I get back. She weighed 3.78 kilograms today. Um, she started on a thyroid medication because she's borderline, but she's had like the other symptoms like increased heart rate, um, weight loss. I think she just had a pee. I don't know because she's having a really hard time coordination. She had a 50 milligram gabapentin today instead of 25 because they didn't know if she had to have blood work or whatnot. And I wanted like a thorough exam. Um, yeah. Coat's good. Still got quite a bit of fat reserves uh, besides the weight loss. Um, told me I can give her like the answer once a day if I need to. Right now she's just had her laser. And she was so good for it because she was so stoked. So she's on, like she's on, on. Saw a baby kitten in there. His name was Leo, a little tiny bottle baby. Um, marked very similar to how she was when I got her, like the muddy brownish grayish color. I don't know where the orange came from as she got older. But yeah, she's probably gonna go for a walk. Oh, I guess she's gonna lay down on the hot cement. <laughs> okay. And asphalt feel good on your bones, huh? But yeah, like, this is what stresses me out. Cause she's so, like, coat's good. Her activity level's good. She plays, she, you know, she uh, is bright eyed. She, her blood works really good, except for that thyroid. Like, our kidney values have been steady um, since we started doing it, pretty much. And that one actually went down, so, from when we first started testing here. So, quite happy with that. Um, not due for any vaccines till May. Um, she is very spicy. <laughs> uh, she wanted to jump on the windowsill uh, in the room. We were in the... Uh, they had an emergency, so we were put in um, the one they usually do, like, lab work in, like if they have to do ultrasound or something. Um, and that has a higher table, and it's closer to the window. And she just wanted to jump on the window. But, yeah, I noticed her breathing was, and heart rate were, like, her heart rate was faster today than it usually is. But she said that sometimes cats can be borderline for a while. It can be affecting them, but not enough to, you know. Yeah, <laughs> she just stepped in the puddle. I don't think she realized she can go around it. We're not going in the puddle, cat. No, we're not. We're not trying to go around the puddle that way. We're going around this way, okay? She's mad now. Yeah, last time we were here, she went all the way around where those woods are over there. <sighs> yeah, that's Miss Miss. So, I'll try the pills at twice a day. Um, I was surprised they, um, when Charlotte, um, my mom's cat, well, my cat, then my mom's cat, um, was thyroid, they really recommended the ear, like the transdermal um, medication for it. Now they don't recommend it as much. Um, so we'll see how this goes. But yeah, she's really out of it with the gabapentin. Like, her coordination's terrible. That's what the gabapentin does with her. It doesn't seem to help her pain much. It just makes her dopey and uncoordinated. That's why we don't use it as a pain relief. Uh, that's why we use the Onsior. Um, yeah, she loves hanging out with h and R Block. Um, they all love to see her when she comes, because she just is... They love watching her walk on the leash and stuff. Um, and yeah, so that's how things are. We got... We'll bring her back in for this... Um, I think it's November. November 1st is when we got the recheck for the thyroid to see how that is and she gets another laser then on weight and all that so 
yeah miss miss